Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are going back to Dark Souls 2, Skull of the First Sin. Uh, it's been at least a week since we played this. Uh, so anyway, we was here um, just before the Lost Sinner, the Lost Sinner, whatever. Uh, and we seen this golden butterfly type thing and I think I've confirmed that it's not on the normal version of Dark Souls 2. But that still doesn't really answer our question, what the hell is it? Maybe it's a type of enemy a bit later on. It's a shame we don't have anything to throw at it at the moment to see if it actually does anything. I don't know. Who knows, it could even be an NPC, I have not a clue. But, um, yeah, my, get, uh, my best bet is that we're probably going to find a few enemies like that. They're not, um, normally there's a big guy here, right? And this guy's never here. And the buster, but that key's never, that's normally a human effigy. And well done, Dino. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure what attacks the best with this. We've leveled up a tiny bit of strength and endurance. Um, so yeah, oh, what was that key even for? That key, oh, right, actually, wow, now we don't even have to go all the way out of our way and go to um, Belfry Luna to get the key what we just got, which actually makes things a whole lot simpler uh, soon, uh, especially with the boss and all that, unless I've changed something with the uh, torches. In general, uh, it does look like they've tried to make the game a tiny bit easier in that kind of way, uh, Skull of the First Sin. Uh, don't like making you not have to go out of your, holy shit, that damage. Not making you go out of that uh, out of your way too much, like especially with the fragrant branches of your and that. I mean, there are more fragrant branches of your, but you can tell it's a lot easier to get through. You don't have to go out of your way. Oh come on, quick! That's so close. That guy's gonna blow up. Hopefully everything here is the same. Um, I think yeah, the, there's two hidden doors through there, but I'm not really gonna go through there. I'm not interested. I want to get to the boss as fast as possible. I'm going to go and make sure this bonfire is still here with uh, the NPC. So I don't think at the moment, even if the, even though there's uh, so many... Oh yeah, Chris, we can't get to the bonfire. I don't know why I thought that the bonfire and the NPC were completely apart from each other. I'm pretty sure these guys have no, got nowhere near the same like activation range. Because normally they like all came at you at once. I'm probably still going to die here for being an idiot. But, like, I have to get really close to him now by the looks of things. Alright, so, there's no going through here then. There's probably a fragrant branch of your around here, knowing um, some of the changes they've done. We can open this because we've got the key. Make that up. Maybe we'll get a fragrant branch of your somewhere around here. You never know. I think that was different. I think that was normally like, I'm not sure if it's human. Oh my god, that. Well, I guess they're. Oh, okay. Oh, that's. I don't know. I think I'd kind of prefer it last time because at least last time you could just uh, ignore everything pretty much. But I don't think you can hit me this close to the door anyway, so it doesn't really make sense why they've done that. Lingering flame. Okay, a bit random. But I'm cool with that. Hopefully we won't have too many surprises around here because there's really not many enemies. Will we still see the uh, the Belfry Luna boss here? Yeah, there they are. Oh, we can actually see all three of them this time. Like normally you just seen one of them. Are they get closer. Ah, they never used to do that. Okay, they've got a lot of full animation now by the sound, by the looks of things. What the fuck is this? Where's this guy coming from? And where did the guy with the bow and arrow go? Is it you? Huh. Weird. What are you doing there? Is this still a human effigy? Holy shit. Ambush! I bet it's not even a human effigy, I bet it's something like really bad. Oh my god. No, it's still a human effigy. Okay. I guess it's kind of worth it. Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye guys. Do every everyone has a... Uh, Fire arrows now. That that's completely new. We're gonna get this item. No, there's no. Oh yeah, there is. I was gonna say to that item away. Holy shit! Where are you going? They never. <gasps> that is for being an idiot. They never used to jump down like that, right? Or maybe it was just an accident. Maybe he didn't mean to do it. It was just random chance. God damn it. Right. Uh, I think this was Lucatil, but um, 
We're not going to bother doing that. I'm going to at least try it once on my own. Right, uh, if this is still a sublime bone dust? No, okay. A blossom kite shield? Holy shit! Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. I was like, what the fuck is that? Oh my god, what are you doing here? Well, that's dangerous as shit. Is this still the ring? Yeah, okay, it's still the ring. Well, where's the sublime bone dust then? Hopefully I don't have... Oh, it's going to make me have to kill that guy, right? I can just tell it's that. But I'm not going to do that yet. I'm getting the fuck out of here first. I think we should be able to uh, go straight through these doors now then. If we've got the key. Yep. Kind of makes life a whole lot easier. It takes the whole point of a lot of this shit away. Holy shit. I don't think they follow me all the way to the boss door. There's, there's not even two big guys up there anymore. Bit of a waste of a divine blessing, but... Should take us to full health, right? Is there nobody in here? Okay. This makes the boss a whole lot easier, really. Still need a torch, though. <sighs> what an idiot, I completely forgot about that. Well, guess what? No butterflies. God damn it. This would be really helpful if it's a butterfly. Nope. God damn it, because you've got to take like a torch all the way from the bonfire to here. Forgot about that part. Because I never really bothered opening these doors. Oh well. I think you can buy uh, some butterflies from somewhere anyway. Well, let's give it our first go without the torches on anyway. This guy had the most random move setting. Oh, good. Some lovely damage with this shitty weapon. This guy's moveset reminds me of the, like the Hades Knight. It's just so random and looks kind of glitchy a bit. Doesn't actually do too much damage. I don't. Take it back, dude. I'm the fuck down. There we go. Maybe I'm slightly over leveled. Yeah, it'd be weird. I haven't really played the game that much. I'm, I've only played it when I've recorded it, so you know. I think it's kind of relatively early for this guy. Okay, I'll, I'll probably shut up acting like I've done it because I'm not. It just seems really easier. I kind of deserve that stab in the face, though. All right, uh, let's take it slightly more serious this time. It didn't actually seem that dark. I thought it was going to be a lot darker without the torches, but it's really not that dark. You can see pretty... I mean, obviously, even though to the eye it's not that dark, the lock-on still thinks it's really dark. You can't really lock on to him. But, you know, I still really think it's lighter than on the PS3. Nope. Come on, here we go, damn it. Wow, I didn't get hit there. That was amazing. Bing. Just like... I don't have enough stamina to really do a hit and then a row, so... I kind of got to tank him out. Okay, that's a bit too bad. Whoa, how did that hit me? God damn it, this guy is so random. No, wrong. <gasps> that was so close. God damn it, lock on. Oh my god. Come on, I get two hits there. The greed is real. Do that to me. Boom. One more of those and you're fucked. There you go. Wow, that's actually really, really a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I was actually half thinking not doing this. Or even attempting this this episode. I probably had some bad memories from Champions coming out or something, which was probably the last time I did it. But, oh well. Maybe it really is just slightly easier on the squad of the first sin. I don't know. Uh, favorite part of your Great. Um, it's fine, I guess, but I still don't know where the Sublime Bone Dust is. Which, um... 
Why can't I go back? Thank you. Which was supposed to be where Luke Dill was. Or beside her, but I still don't know where it is. Oh well. I'm guessing it's around there somewhere, probably more of those doors. I guess the only two places we really can go at the moment is uh, the No Man's Wrath place or this way. And to be honest, there's no point of going the other way because we've already done the Lost Bastille anyway, so yeah. Um, we've done two primeval bosses, which are the. Uh, oh god, what's he called? The guy in the fucking gulch, black gulch, whatever it's called. And we've just done the sinner, so. We've got the spider and. What is the other one? I completely forgot what the other one was. Can we go two ways? To... No. This way was just to Audius Keep, which is after the castle. We can go to the castle or we can go to the spider. Oh, yeah, of course. Fuck you. I, I remember. I just remembered now. It's uh, Iron's Keep. I completely forgot that. Iron's Keep and. Uh... And Hunt. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let me get my ring, bitch. Thank you. Completely forgot about Iron's Keep and Huntsman's Cart. I sh probably should have went there before going here. But uh, since we're here, not really much we're going to do. I might as well try out the, sp uh, the Scorpion guy this episode, even if we don't do it. Don't worry, little hides, matey. I've seen you there. What is that? Is, is that a Hades Knight? Was it a ghost or what the fuck is that? The fuck is that? Wow! These are like the guys... Like the guys from the mist. And they really do look identical to the, um, the player's ghost. I mean, the ones in the first DLC, hmm, what's going on over here? The ones in the first DLC, at least, at least they were kind of giant and you could tell a bit, but bloody hell, these guys are like identical. Oh, the gold one's here. Or maybe there's more than one gold one now. I think we could get his headpiece or something out of the gold one. Watch out. Come on. We're gonna go for the gold one? Might as well. Maybe we get lucky and get his headpiece. I think it was the headpiece what we could get, I don't know. Oh fuck. Where the fuck? Is there an item behind that statue there? Oh my god. Nice, that's beautiful. Oh my god, the, the amount of fucking poison these people have them. It's just amazing. Come on. I killed him, just about. Why did they put that there? There's not even an item there, right? Right? They're bullshitting. I know they're bullshitting. They're trying to make you waste one for nothing, I think. I don't know. Well, I guess I guess the statue could drop something, kind of like the uh, statue which um, dropped the key over there. Huh. That is interesting. I really need to get something to hit them. Oh, I can't believe I don't have anything. I mean, we have got a normal... Oh, we can't even use it. Maybe, even if we can't use it, do we have... Yes, okay. I don't care if we can't use it, I just want to see what it does. So this is like the second one I've seen so far. Probably missed a few. Right, do you actually do anything? Twilight Hub. Okay, whatever. Maybe something happens if we kill all of them? I don't know. Maybe they're like a new hidden kind of thing in this game. I really don't know. So let me know in the comments if you know if something happens if you find all of them. Or if it's just for random items. I don't know. Oh no. Quick, run. You need to run. Oh, it's Ant's going to do the tail attack. Oh my god. Oh my god, we are getting so sad right now. 
You know what? Fuck this. They will never know what they miss. Anything could happen again. And you will have to trust me.